Welcome back guys, today we're going to be looking at the 2014 Atomic Roar Godzilla figure. So, yeah, made by Bandai apparently. But anyways, let's start with detail. Now, like I said, this figure is made by Bandai, and whether or not this is the Bandai Japan company or the Bandai Creations company, I have no fucking idea. So, yeah. However, since this, well, since I got this figure from Toys R Us a few years back, I would have to, well, for a very long time, I thought this is a Bandai Creations figure. And maybe it is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. But, yeah. Every time, well, I tried looking up this figure on YouTube, and almost all the titles said, well, you know, Bandai. Or, like, he's made by Bandai. So, at the very moment right now, I have no idea which specific type of Bandai company. But, ugh, whatever. But anyways, yeah. Um, now when it comes to accuracy, this is pretty accurate to his appearance in the 2014 Godzilla movie. I mean, well, yeah, it's it's pretty accurate for the most part, such as the square, uh, square-faced shaped head, the smaller looking dorsal plates, and the brontosaurus looking feet, so, and the gills right here chest and all that so yeah accuracy is pretty pretty good for the most part and texture is okay like it's nicely sculpted but it's not as well textured or whatever as most of the Bandai Japan figures or whatever like well as you can see here yes it has a lot of the bumps all over the body and the scales which don't get me wrong looks really really nice but there's not as much texture but, eh, it's still decently sculpted anyways. You know, the face here, which looks really, well, pretty good. The dorsal plates. Honestly, I think the dorsal plates should be a little bit sharper than this. But, I guess that makes sense. This is apparently more of a kid's toy. But, whatever. Oh, and another thing that kind of bothers me with detail is how the tail is awfully short. I think it should be longer. Like, let me get the NECA 2014 Godzilla figure. So yeah, this is it right here. Now look at the tail here, and look at the tail in this one. See the difference? Well, I mean, as you can see, this one is incredibly long, while this one's a little bit shorter. I mean, at least it's not stumpy. Like the Kiryu figure that I previously reviewed. But still, it's uh, kind of short. But, eh, whatever. But aside from that, detail on here is fairly, well, pretty, pretty decent. I like what they did with the hands here. There we go. I like what they did with the hands here and the arms and the, well, no, the, um, the forearms or whatever. It looks really well done. The feet, the toes are okay. The legs are pretty, pretty good. And um, despite the spikes or dorsal plates being well, kind of dull, not as sharp, they're still pretty good. But yeah. And of course, you have the gills here, like I mentioned before. He has four or five gills on each side, just to let you guys know. But yeah. And of course, you have the chest here, which looks really nice. <coughs> so, yeah. Detail is, there are a couple flaws, but it's pretty okay in my opinion deep detail or texture is pretty decent or it's okay and paint job paint job is really really nice he has his traditional uh, charcoal gray or black color on the body and the belly is like this uh, um, this light brown gray color which looks pr really nice and um, the eyes are yellow, which looks really cool. Let me see here. There we go. And the teeth. The teeth are individually painted. Not individually sculpted, but they're painted nonetheless, which looks okay. The dorsal plates are nicely colored. Nicely painted. So, yeah. Large, obviously a large portion of this Godzilla figure is, you know, charcoal gray. But that's fine, because... You know, it's, that's really accurate. So, yeah. Anyways, um, let's see. Oh, yeah. Articulation. Oh, 
Oh shit, I almost forgot. Um, this figure, judging by the name, you know, Atomic Roar, has an, has an ability to project an atomic, like, beam from his mouth. Watch. So, yeah, that's his atomic breath. It's pretty, well, it's pretty well sculpted. I mean, there's not a lot of texture on it, but that makes sense because it's his atomic breath. It's more of energy or beam or whatever. But yeah, the mouth can open wide like that, which looks very weird, but yeah. Anyways, yeah, forgot to mention that part, my apologies, but yeah. Anyways, on to articulation. Obviously, you know, the mouth moves like that, and the arms move like that. It can't go 360 because his, his body gets in the way, and... Of course, the legs move together. They can't move individually. Well, they can do this, but barely. So yeah, they move up and down like that. And the tail here, um, kind of moves. Like you can see this line here of where it can move, but it can only go. Well, it can only. Um, ah, fuck it. I forgot the word that's described as. Well, I forgot what it's called, but. Yeah, the tail barely moves, but, yeah. But anyways, yeah, that's pretty much it for articulation. That's, like, one, two, three, four, five, five and a half points. So, yeah, something like that, but, yeah. Five and a half points for articulation. That's, well, eh, average, I guess. I don't know, but, yeah, five and a half points. It's pretty cool. And last but not least, rarity. Now... I'm not sure how rare this specific Godzilla figure is, but seeing as, well, how it's more of an American kid's toy of a Godzilla figure, um, I would have to assume it's a little bit more common than, like, the Bandai Japan figures or the, um, the NECA figure, but, eh, whatever, that's my guess. But, yeah. In the end, I would have to assume this guy is fairly common. Not too common, but not too rare. In between rare and common, I guess, but, uh, whatever. So that's pretty much it for this review. Detail is, it has its flaws, but it's, but it's pretty good nonetheless. Paint job is really nice. Articulation, he has five and a half. And rarity, I would have to assume he's, uh kind of common so yeah in the end i give the figure a four out of five a four because i think they should have done or like i think they should have improved on the dorsal plates and made the tail a little bit longer but aside from that this is a really really nice figure and i'm really happy that i have this figure it is really cool and of course i like his atomic roar Incredibly badass. I mean, that part's fucking awesome. So, yeah, f four out of five. Really nice figure, and do I recommend it? Absolutely. Especially if you like the 2014 Godzilla design. So, yeah. Just a really, really nice figure, and I, like I said, recommend it. I think he'll make an amazing addition on your Godzilla, well, in your Godzilla collection. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh, I almost forgot. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you have, give it a like, subscribe, and leave a comment if you want. So yeah. Once again, that scores 4 to 5, and I'll see you guys on the next review video.